All right, welcome inside our halftime coverage of the Yellow Jackets and the Ohio Northern Polar Bears. It's a tight game at halftime. Baldwin Wallace just down one possession. They're playing well against Ohio Northern. But in the meantime, we've got our director of alumni engagement, Terry Kurtz, who has graciously given us a little bit of his time. Thanks for joining us. Happy to be here, Brendan. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. And we've got uh, a fun basketball game here tonight, it's, which certainly helps. It's great to watch. It's uh, great to have the Yellow Jackets back at home on the ladies' side. They've been gone for a little bit. But let's talk about all that's going on in your world because there's plenty to talk about. We've got so much going on on campus. For alums who haven't had a chance to come back in a while, what would you encourage that they do if they can't make it to campus? Oh, my gosh. If you can't make it to campus, uh, I'd head to Florida next week. <laughs> That's a good idea. We're going to be down in Florida for uh, three events, Fort Lauderdale, Sarasota, and Naples. Uh, we've got alumni gatherings right now, registration about 85 people over those three events. And uh, we're taking President Helmer, a couple of students with us. It's going to be a great time to learn about BW, reconnect, job search. Uh, it just enjoy being part of the Yellow Jackets for Life community. It's going to be awesome down there. Uh, personally was able to be there for one of the events during the uh, the basketball tournament when the teams had played down there. The Yellow Jackets men and women's teams were both down playing uh, Hope and St. Vincent right around the Christmas time. We had a nice event down there uh, as well for local alums. So it'll be great to reconnect with uh, some other BW alums that are in other parts of Florida. That'll be great. But there's lots going on in Cleveland too. Uh, let's talk about what's going on April 21st with the Brown and Gold Club. April 21st. Well, the Brown and Gold Club is uh, our new Athletics Alumni Association, and that club is uh, is really about celebrating our championship athletics culture at BW, reconnecting players with players, players with coaches, players with current students, athletes, and uh, really putting it all together to raise funds for athletics. April 21st, we're going to have the reverse raffle. So it's going to be an on-campus event. Uh, we're going to be in a student activity center. We're bringing everybody back to campus to an old athletics facility. Perfect. We're going to raise a ton of money. We're going to have a lot of fun. And uh, we're just going to put the, the brown and gold spirit back into our alumni, bring them to campus. Awesome. Terry Kurtz, our director of alumni engagement, our guest. Terry, I know you've got a couple cool events going on. One of them is, uh, what, what's it called, New Handshake? Uh, you know what? It's uh, it's a it's not a new event more than it is a platform. Platform, it's sure. A platform for alumni uh, across the nation. Uh, they can it's through career services and it allows uh, job providers and job seekers to get together. So our students put their uh, information into this and it creates the handshake with job providers. You know, you you have a yellow jacket who can provide an internship, who can provide career shadowing, uh, summer job or a full time job. There's nothing better than bringing together yellow jackets with yellow jackets for career development. And uh, so that's through Career Services, and I guess I'd offer that uh, Career Services will also take care of uh, alumni anywhere across the country. If you, if you have opportunity to, to work with them, they will work with you, uh, resume review or, or just to help you find jobs. We, you know, when we say Yellow Jackets for life, we emphasize the for life. You really mean it. Yeah, we do. Awesome. How about the summertime here in Greater Cleveland? I know there's lots of BW alums that have chosen to continue to call Cleveland home. Tribe game in the making, maybe, or, or yeah, trips gonna, to we're, Cedar Point? We're going to be back. You got, you got them both. Uh, Cedar Point's a great day. Last year, about 250 alumni, family, and friends come out. Uh, wear your brown and gold around the park. We'll, we'll provide you some uh, some swag, some, some, you know, if our prize patrol team catches you. We get really great ticket prices. It's a great day to celebrate BW at the point. Cleveland Indians last year, I think 140 tickets we sold out in uh, three days. So, wow. it's, again, you know, we bring the, the BW community together. We celebrate uh, Cleveland teams. We celebrate Cleveland, Northeast. Ohio activities, and it's family friendly, you know, and that's that's part of it too, right? You're, you're a Yellow Jacket, your family's part of that community, and that's what we're all about, whether it's parents, alumni, friends of the institution. Um, if I can say about one other thing, it's kind of local, summer, yeah. summer-esque, uh, May 19th, we're asking people to come back, and honestly, if you're if you're a Cleveland area alumni, if you're an Ohio alumnus or an alumni, or frankly, if you, if you can come into town from across the country, we're going to have a return and learn. Breakfast is uh, provided. This is a this is an event we're putting together right now. We think it's actually going to be our gift to the community. We're just going to make sure the numbers work out. But I think we're going to give everybody breakfast, three classes, nine, ten, and eleven o'clock, and uh, and a lunch. With President Homer followed by an ice cream social. So we're we're still working out the final details. But I'll tell you what. Come back to campus. Get back in the classroom. Meet other alumni, and uh, and some of our current students. And. Uh, uh, May 19th is going to be a great day. What a fun, unique program. A chance for alums to come back and get back in the classroom where hopefully they had uh, great opportunities and memories that launched them uh, into their careers. It's been fun getting to visit with you. Certainly appreciate the time. And uh, am I missing anything? Was there anything else you wanted to touch on? 
you know what I would say? Actually, we're really excited about this. Coming up in, uh, in about a month, we're going to launch an alumni virtual book club. So uh, anywhere in the country, in fact, anywhere in the world, if you're a part of the Yellow Jacket uh, community and you like to read, we're going to launch this online book club. And it will be free to participate. We're going to have four books over the course of the year, prompts. We're going to uh, we're partnering with a company that's, that's got a great program. These are going to be uh, professional improvement books and uh, over time maybe career books. And uh, we're going to see where the group wants to take it. We're starting off with the power of habit. And, uh, and we're going to, I think we're just going to pull together hundreds of people online, no matter where you are, uh, again, YJ Farrell, man. You'll be That's part right. of this community. Awesome. Well, we certainly uh, wish you the best in all your endeavors. And, and remind you again, if you're a Yellow Jacket alum, don't forget about us. We haven't forgotten about you. We want you to continue to be a part of uh, all that we're doing, both on and off campus. Terry Kurtz, the Director of Alumni Engagement, thanks for your time. It's been great. All right. More halftime coverage when we come back on BWYellowJackets.com.